What's going on guys? So uh, today I'm gonna do a, just a little different video for you. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what boat I'm fishing on. I know uh, I like to kind of watch other people and see what they uh, fish on. So I figured I'd make you a quick video and kind of change up uh, what videos I'm uploading. I do have a lot of bluefin edits to do, but I uh, figured I'd just throw this one in real quick before I get back to editing those. So the boat that I fish on, it is a uh, 17 foot striper center console. Uh, it is powered by the Yamaha 115. Um, as far as gas mileage and that kind of stuff, I'd say with three people, I can do about five to six miles a gallon uh, going at about 20 miles an hour. Um, if I have two people, it gets a little better than that. I try to only fish about three people in this boat. I've done four, gets a little helmet. I try to keep it to two or three people. It fishes two really well. Three people is good as well, but uh, you gotta kind of coordinate your casting and all that kind of stuff. So climbing on in, you have your back transom. Uh, the boat is very dirty. I got back in late last night, so I haven't had a chance to go ahead and clean it. But uh, this is the back transom. We got my bait tank here. I did put this in after the fact. Um, it holds maybe a half a scoop. They really don't survive too much. Um, I'll kind of go into detail about that in a second, but yeah, we have a bunch of transom, like kind of wasted space in my opinion, but this is the transom. A couple rod holders, six rod holders. This is where the seats are. So I could have made this into a kill box. That's actually a uh, bait tank. This is technically the kill box. I have no idea what you would put in there, except for bass, maybe, or some rockfish. Um, anyways, coming up, we have the center console through the sides. It's pretty roomy. This is normally where my cooler goes. Got a couple more rod holders on the side here. Some uh, clamp on ones for fishing the dropper loop. And of course the bow. Um, there's a ton of casting space up here if your buddy's not hogging it. That is the layout. Like I said, it gets really good gas mileage. I spend probably 20 or 30 bucks on fuel, maybe. I mean, if I'm fishing the beach, it costs me probably $15 to fill up every time, maybe less than that. It, it costs more to honestly tow the boat down to where I wanna go fishing um, than it does to run the boat itself. So that's cool. Um, it does hold 44, whoa, it does hold 44 gallons as well. Um, so it's got a pretty big tank on it. Um, and it's got some decent range if I'm getting about five miles a gallon. It can get up to about, I wanna say 37 miles an hour, maybe 40, like with three people in the boat at wide open throttle. Um, I assume with one or two people, you could go over 40, but I mean, it's only 17 feet, so I wouldn't really wanna push it. So the boat is definitely seaworthy, but that being said, I don't like to push it too much, so I really only fish the local banks, the local high spots. Um, I mean, I know other people that would probably take this thing to San Clemente Island, no problem, but not me. I just play it on the safe side most of the time. And uh, I do like fishing the beach a lot more than fishing offshore. I think it presents more of a challenge because you have to read the conditions better. So that's probably why you see me fishing yellowtail or calico a lot on the beach. Um, just what I enjoy doing. Uh, if I want to go for big bluefin or whatever, I, I have friends that I can try and jump on with and uh, film and fish that way. But yeah, so the pros, good gas mileage. It's a roomy, it's got a huge bow. Um, the cons though, because of the way the boat came stock, it didn't really have a good bait tank. Um, the old bait tank is up here on the bow and it would only hold like maybe like 12 mackerel. It didn't really hold too much. Um, so we ended up putting this little bait tank in the back. Still not the best. It holds a lot more mackerel and I can take like kayak scoop a chovy and it, it'll survive really well, but anything more than that, they, they seem to die. Um, I'm not sure if it's the way that I have it plumbed or whatever, but that's what it is. Um, a second con is that we have all this wasted transom space back here. And I think that's just something with the stripers. It's just the way they design them. I wish it was kind of like the Parker Center consoles where it goes all the way to the back or like the whalers and your transom is way back there and you have all this extra space to fish. Um, that way I could have put a, bait, a bigger bait tank here or back here and uh, it wouldn't have like messed with the flow of the boat in the back, I guess. But 
Either way, the bow is so stable, so you can stand back here on this little ledge and cast, which I find myself doing a lot if my buddies are up on the bow. But So the next thing that kind of is a bummer on this boat is the wiring inside is an absolute nightmare. My dad bought the boat new back in 2002, so whoever, like I think it was Sea Witch Marine did all that stuff. And, and it's horrible. I still need to go through and do that. Uh, right now, the battery is actually in the back transom here, um, or in this little cubby. It's right there. But I'm thinking of moving the battery from back here up into here um, and kind of cleaning up the uh, center console here because I have a lot of switches. There's like three or four switches that I actually don't even use. There's a lot of wiring underneath that goes to nothing so I kind of want to simplify it but I always find myself uh, going fishing before I can do that so yeah kind of haven't gotten to it but I think I'm going to soon um, another thing that kind of sucks is the storage up here these cubbies are so small um, I haven't really gotten around to also opening that up uh, so I do have to store my anchor up here in the center console which kind of sucks when you're out on the water pulling it out of here take some space in your uh, center console so not much room to store stuff so I guess if you see my videos we always have tackle boxes and stuff laying around up here in the bow or in the back seats here but uh, yeah it's a great boat um, like I said it's very seaworthy very stable a lot of my friends like to come fishing with me I think <laughs> um, it's a fun boat to fish on it's pretty dry I guess if you're standing right here on the side you do get a little wet if we're going like cross swell, but it handles chop really well. Um, and again, it's very stable. So it's a great little boat. Um, yeah, I love fishing it. It does need to be clean. So ignore how dirty it is. Um, like I said, we got in really late last night and uh, I thought I cleaned it, but clearly now that I'm down here, it's still really dirty. So yeah. Um, anyways, I just figured I'd make a quick little video of the boat. Give you one last little glimpse. But yeah, drop me a comment if you guys like seeing videos like this. I can show you uh, other stuff or maybe make a little different video. But I got about three or four videos coming up still. Um, I have a big bluefin day with Leo from Into the Depths Sport Fishing. Um, I have a good foamer day on my buddy Brian's whaler uh, where we caught a couple fish. And then I have two days on this thing uh, where we had some really good local foam on the beach. Um, just hard to find time to kind of edit this stuff working all day I go surfing <laughs> so yeah i try to get them out as fast as i can but hopefully you guys enjoyed this one shoots